Food is usually one of those areas where you may make little changes. It often involves some financial activity. You know, you may make some cuts here and add some items there. However, if you've already bought your food, you don't want to wind up throwing it out because it has gone bad before you eat it. So I'm going to share 12 food storage tips to help you save money while preserving the food you just bought. Keep your refrigerator temperatures between 35 and 38 degrees. The food tends to stay fresher for longer at this temperature. Wrap bananas with plastic wraps or wax wraps. Bananas can be prevented from ripening if they are separated from the bundle and their ends are wrapped in plastic wrap or wax paper with a rubber band. Therefore, it will take longer for the bananas to ripen, develop brown patches, and turn completely brown. Store berries in a container with some paper towels. Wash your berries and soak them in vinegar water solution to kill any mold or mildew that has begun to grow, but isn't yet visible. After drying them, store them in a jar lined with paper towels. That way they can soak up any remaining moisture. Therefore, the berries may be dried completely by placing them on this paper towel, allowing them to last longer. Place a piece of bread in the brown sugar. Have you ever preserved brown sugar? When it's not rock hard, brown sugar is quite useful. Try putting a piece of bread in the brown sugar. Store cucumber in a crisper drawer. You may remove any germs, mold, or mildew that may have grown on your cucumber by washing it in a vinegar water solution. Keep it in the crisper drawer, wrapped with a towel or paper towel. This should extend the life of your cucumber, freeze any leftover food. We always seem to have some chicken, mashed potatoes, and corn leftovers. You may save money and time by storing leftovers in the freezer in a meal-like setup, such as chicken, mashed potatoes, and corn. Then when you're ready to eat, you take everything out of the freezer and have a whole dinner. Get some proper containers. You don't need to go out and purchase new containers, but if you'd want to switch out some of your plastic storage for glass, explore alternatives like mason jars and Pyrex. As we discussed berries, you should know that they sell amazing berry boxes with a tray with drainage at the bottom. The cost may be worth it, given that they will keep your berries fresh longer. Use fruit and vegetable ethylene absorbers. These ethylene absorbers contain tiny particles that absorb ethylene. Fruits such as apples, bananas, pears, and peaches produce ethylene. Because broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower are ethylene sensitive, keep your fruits and vegetables separate. If you're going to mix them, get one of these Amazon ethylene absorbers. This will assist in extending the life of your fruits and veggies. Store onions and potatoes separately. Separate your onions and potatoes and store them in a dark and cool environment. Do not store them in the refrigerator. That isn't going to help them. Keep them in the basement or behind a cabinet, separated in dark and cool baskets. Store greens in a container with some paper towels. Like how you would tend to your berries or cucumbers, you should treat your greens carefully. Follow the same process of washing, rinsing, and drying them well. It's okay to wait until you're ready to use them to wash them. However, remember to keep the towel or paper towel in the container where it is. Greens tend to get slimy when moist, therefore, you need these towels to absorb the moisture. Keep your food in the right places. Take the grocery store as an example. You know the supermarket does not keep its potatoes in a cooler. The potatoes are kept outdoors. And if you've ever noticed, the grocery shop usually covers its potatoes and onions with burlap at night after everyone has left and before it shuts. Apply these techniques in your own house. You should place the carrots in the refrigerator if they are kept in a cooler at the store. You do not always need to keep your berries in the refrigerator if they were not in the refrigerator when you bought them. Wrap cheese in wax paper. Cheese is an excellent food product. Putting it in a Ziploc bag and leaving it alone is what most people do. And that's not always a terrible idea. Although a zipper bag is convenient, it may not be the best choice if you want to ensure that your cheese lasts as long as possible. Hard cheese may be stored longer if wrapped in wax paper or parchment paper and then placed in a plastic bag. Blue cheese should be wrapped in plastic or stored in a zipper bag. A glass or plastic container with a tight seal will work best for the stickier cheeses. If you like this video, consider giving us a like and subscribe for more content.